which means that underneath it all, marketers are trying to triangulate all of the respective data points for their customer journey across all of these solutions, which of course then opens up new opportunity and new fields for um, 1,258 different data tools for these platforms. Um, so as you look at a marketer's world today, all of these point solutions solve individual problems, but you still need one tool to rule them all. And being able to wrangle and maintain data and data accuracy is probably one of the most difficult parts of any marketer's job today. Um, it makes the tools that they use the backbone of a company. Uh, and how well architected that data structure is um, will end up making or breaking how efficient or inefficient a marketer is. Um, I saw that uh, someone has asked about a few examples of the tools in these categories, but if we're looking at social media, you can think of Hootsuite has been around for quite some time. Sprout Social is another tool. Um, if you think about content, you think about content management systems, one of the most traditionally used one is WordPress. But I mentioned I'm a, a former HubSpot employee, but HubSpot would technically be considered both a content and now a sales tool. Um, they even have some ad tech in there. Um, so what, what's happening is now a lot of these, these uh, tools are starting to have feature creep where they're adding in new features, new functionality, um, and or expanding into new categories. This makes a marketer's job really difficult to keep the data integrity and keep the footprint of their prospects and or customers as clean as possible. What I also think is interesting too is when you think about selecting the right technology and partnering with the members of your data compliance and your privacy teams in-house, the underlying thing that you are trying to preserve is operational alignment and good data integrity and hygiene. When it comes into explicitly opting into your marketing initiatives and campaign, your marketing team needs to lean and rely very heavily on their legal and or compliance teams to make sure that they're following all the right protocols or following all the right procedures and that all 8,000 of the tools that I talked about in this slide are speaking to each other and have just the right amount of data integrity across these platforms. 